Howdy folks, how's everybody doing out there? So this video is for all the Tri-5 guys out there. You're going to love this video. <laughs> Let's do it. Are we still recording here? Okay. Frankenstein Plymouth. Enjoyed the video so far? Let's see what's going on. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Sorry about the camera work there. A better. A little better. Alrighty. You all ready for this? Get this other side here. That's gonna be a little tricky for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Make this a four door hard top into a two door hard top. That's what we're going to be doing here. So, tripod killer at its finest. This side's a little bit tricky. You got to go right on through it there. Bring you all over here real quick. We're going to have this roof off here. But we're about to get this roof off here. I'm just trying to cut it right around this edge here. And uh, don't want to get into it too much. And uh, the body anyway. Because I want to try and save this roof for somebody. Somebody might need this roof, and I don't want to mess it up too bad. I still want to make this roof usable if somebody needs a four-door hard dot roof. So, weld it down here a little bit, and I got to get this piece of trim off here somehow. If I can get it off, I'm not going to mess that up. So, I'll, I'll figure out a way to get this out somehow. But, basically, what I'm trying to do here... It's just taking cut straight on through it. Kind of like that. I don't go too crazy just yet. Because I gotta get that trim off here. And this is the only thing holding this roof together. There is two layers in here as well. So I didn't quite get all the way through, so I got to finish cutting from there to there. And I got to do a little splice right here. And then um, kind of like this. And, uh, about three layers. Got about three layers there. So I got to cut through it there. So I'm going to put me another grinding wheel on here and uh, get back at this thing here. Let's get this trim off here. Alright folks, so I was able to get this piece of trim off. So that worked out really good. So we didn't disturb our trim or anything, so we'll just put this out of the way right there. And then we're just going to come in here and finish cutting this roof on out. And uh, we'll do our four door hard top to two door hard top swap you'll never see a video like that so now you are all right so i'm gonna get back at it and remember folks grinders are dangerous so be careful with them i'm gonna get this changed out all right so out with the old in with the new Not sure how well y'all can see that. <clears throat> but uh, I'm ready to cut the rest of this roof off. So. There. There you go, it's a little better. I don't want to put y'all too close because I really don't want this roof to land on top of y'all. So, on my camera here. So. We're going to get back at it and start cutting the roof off. That's what this here board is for right here. I think it cuts the roof. So we're going to get back at it and do some more cutting. You ready? This is fun. 
straight on down. About out of grinding wheels. So I gotta be kind of careful right now. You can see this strip is not a lot of holding it right now. I'm just gonna take my time. Okay. <laughs> Literally nothing really holding it right now. So we gotta be kind of careful. And hope you can and uh I'm gonna get this thing off kind of careful here. So I like to go to the cut. Uh, I'm about to get the cut right here. Yeah. Oh well. All right. So y'all ready to turn this Bel Air into a convertible? So four door convertible at that. Yeah, we're good. It's just the roof sitting on. Yeah, door still closes. I don't know. I might open it up a little bit, but it'll be all right. I'll just put a floor jack underneath the frame. So, I don't know. I think it'll be alright. I'm going to go on and take this roof on off. Alright, hopefully y'all got a decent view here. I'm going to get this roof on off here. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to get it off here somehow. Yeah, that's how you do it. And there we have it, folks. Four-door uh, 
convertible. So, there we go. Now we gotta figure out how this is gonna work. And boom! Just like that, you too can have a four-door hardtop convertible here. So, uh, this has got a removable, this is like a retractable, like a Ford, you know? So it's got a retractable roof, except in this case, this is a portable roof. So, you know, works out pretty good. So, anybody need a four-door hardtop Bel Air roof? There it is, it's for sale. So, so it's only worth 50 cents. So, there we go. It's actually a really solid roof, believe it or not. Now it is got a uh, kind of a complex kind of going on up there, you know, with some uh, little uh, rodents in here. But, you know, the car's set for about 50 years, so. But I was really careful with this roof. I could not get this one piece of stainless off, realistically. So, I will get that off and get that off without damaging it. Now, when I cut this roof off, I took my time and actually did this right. So this roof could be put right back on. You can buy the A pillars and you could actually reuse the C pillars. So I did not just hack it off. So this roof can be reused. So just wanted to uh, let folks know that. And, you know, it can be reused. Not a big deal. This is a really nice roof. Kind of sucks. Hate to cut it off like that. But, you know, I want to build a Plymouth. So, this is where we're at with our build here. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, figure out what's what with this roof. And get it on here. And then, uh, we'll go from there. So, we're definitely getting there. Definitely getting there. So, not going to mess with the door yet. I don't think the body moved. It might have a little bit. But, you know, you can put a jacket underneath here and jack it up back up to close this gap up. Not a big deal. So, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I don't really care. Yeah, it still shuts. Good enough. It'll be alright. I'm going to put a floor jacket underneath there and jack it up. And then when you put the roof on, it'll have structure back in it. So, I'm not really, not really worried about it. So, anyway. I wanted to get this video and make this video. Again, I like Tri-5, guys. I don't mean nothing bad. I just love picking it, y'all. And, um, don't mean anything bad or disrespectful. So, don't mind me. But, um, I just want to build a Plymouth. So, you know. This is the only way to bring this car back. So, and this is the most popular car in America, you know. Yeah. So, I will see y'all on the next video. And this is going to be a uh, series here, new series of rebodying a Bel Air to 1957 Plymouth. So, it's going to work out really good. And started fitting some stuff up, fender spears, V8 emblems, you know, these are 62 Impala, you know, um, emblems there, and these are 51 to 1954, 5, something like that, Ford V8 emblems there, so I got those, want to use those, really like the 62 Impala ones, so they look really nice, really tickled with that, so I gotta go back, I gotta, I got a lot of work, I gotta weld all these little holes up and all that, just welding the fender up from clown work there but um but it's definitely getting there so we definitely uh do have a door now so we do have a door that opens and closes so we're getting there i'll have to do the driver's side of course the door there so But it's definitely getting there. Definitely getting there. So it actually looks pretty cool without the roof. So, alrighty. I will see y'all in the next one.